Hi guys, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're in the kitchen again, we're going to be baking again. So it is Tuesday which means I do my TikTok on Tuesday, but as I already had this cake mix, unicorn cake mix, so it's like pink apparently, I thought instead of making the cake myself I may as well use up this cake mix and then I'm going to make some buttercream and like frost the cake and then try and like frost it in the different, you know how you do different colours like along it and then scrape around it and it kind of looks multicoloured. That's the plan anyway, I've never done it before. That's that's the plan and then the TikTok, it's just going to be a quick transition TikTok into that. So yeah, let's get making this cake mix. This one's a little more complicated, it's not complicated, this one's a bit, it's got more things in it so it's not just like oil and water, it's oil, milk and eggs as well. But I have them, so. So the shop didn't have vegetable oil, which is what it says you need. It had olive oil or rapeseed oil, and I thought rapeseed oil was probably the closest, so that's what I'm going with. <laughs> So our lovely pink cake mix is now ready to go into the oven. I actually, it said it was pink and then the powder was white and I was like, okay, but you know, it turned pink, so it's pretty cool. So now we'll put this in the oven and um, see how it turns out. These look so cool. There's a little crack on them, so I'll just slice that bit off, but I'm happy with how these are turning out. And I've made some buttercream and put it in the fridge to chill a bit. So I'll just leave the cakes to cool a bit and then, well, cool a lot. And then I will put some filling as a crumb coat. So basically when you like cut the cake and then you put a, a light layer of buttercream on the top and then put it in the freezer so that any crumbs get locked in and then you put on your normal layer and then I can decorate it so it might be a little while until I can decorate it but I'm sure it'll turn out good. So this is what the cake looks like now it's iced a bit. My cakes always turn out really wonky I don't know why I don't know what I'm doing wrong but never mind. So that's the cake and then we're gonna use this peach coloured icing and lemon coloured icing and try and make like an effect on that. We'll see how it goes. So this is how the cakes turned out. I really think I should have used darker colours because you can't tell that it's like, because it's lemon and peach, you can't really see the colours that well, but they are there. But this is like the design I was going for was like, standing out a little bit um, marks kind of thing. It does look a lot better in person than it does on the camera, but it's okay. I do think I should have used darker colors, like even, cause I use pastel colors, I could have used normal colors or I've got pastel blue and green. So I could have used um, 
those instead to make it look a little bit better but I'm I'm it's okay for like a first attempt so um it's okay I'm kind of pleased with it so I hope you enjoyed watching this video just another day of me baking but that's what I do a lot because it's really good for me sensory wise um and I just enjoy it so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time bye